Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Chan here for Forever Football DRFC, not for long, your Longest Rovers fan channel, and welcome to a match preview where, of course, midweek action this week as we've got Ipswich Town uh, at Portman Road. Obviously, a big, big tie this one. Uh, obviously, Ipswich have only got one win all season, as have we. Uh, so, and, and you've got to think, a similar goal cushion. Well, a, a big goal cushion from us if we batter them and we go ahead of the relegation zones. And it relies on Charlton and crew losing as well. So, you know, it, it's one of those things into we've got to win this game. It's a. Uh, I'd say it's a very early six pointer. I think that's the way you've got to look at this. A very early six pointer. Um, but yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Click the notification bell to miss a YouTube video. And let's get straight into this. So, obviously, it was like I said, they've got a couple of players available for this game. Uh, Sam Morsey and Carl Edwards, I believe, are reported to be uh, ready for this game. Obviously, from our front of, uh, from the injury front, Cameron Johns coming back in a week. Taylor's going to be hopefully available in a week or two, uh, and same with Okunabiri. So, fingers crossed, those players are going to be coming back as soon as possible, and we're going to have more players at our disposal. The thing, ref I think, reflecting on us over this past week is. We are, I, I, I think that we're playing well, but we've just not got the results. We got the first win a couple of weekends ago against Morecambe. We have nearly got one, something against Plymouth, if it wasn't for two um, very unfortunate penalties. Um, obviously, it's the first of three games with our manager on the touchline. Um, and it's, it is a weird one for me, because... You know, on the one hand, Ipswich have got the talent and the quality and they can batter us at any point with the firepower they've got and they're probably facing Ipswich at the wrong time because they're starting to turn it around now. But on the other hand, they haven't quite turned it around consistently yet. They've just got the one game and the win. So, you know, there's still the there's still the opportunity to cause them problems. So... It's a 50-50 one for me, but I'm confident going into this one with the way that we're playing against Plymouth. Uh, but let's have a look at my predicted team before I give you my scoreline prediction. So let's start off with the uh, predicted team. So 4-3-3, uh, Dahlberg and Goal, uh, Rowe, Anderson, Williams and Noyle, uh, Close, Galbraith and Smith, who will are on the left, to do on the right and secure up from pretty much the uh, team that I predicted for the uh, for the other match um, now in terms of finally my scoreline prediction again that's going to be a hard one because like I said on the one hand Ipswich I've only got one win and they, they still could be mistake prone and not hold on to a lead but on the other hand they've got the firepower and the quality to tear us a new backside and really rip us apart but I'm confident going into this one. So I'm going to go with a 2-0 Rovers win. I'm going to go 2-0, clean sheet, two goals. I'm confident. Uh, but there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I'm Aaron Chandler from Fro Football, DRFC, Keep on the Rovers life, and that, my friends, full-time. Rovers side die. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys for the review tomorrow. Rovers!